Today we're going to be talking about bodies. This is not what I mean. Let's talk about bodies um, in this kind of just a basics overview of what you may or may not get uh, when you're looking at a guitar. Um, I've already covered necks, um, uh, which you can see uh, at the link should be like right there. Um, but today we're going to talk about bodies and what I know about the way that they're made. Um, and what to look for. Um, there's a lot about guitars that I don't know. Um, you know I, I only know what I know. Um, so I'll tell you what I run across, uh, I'll tell you what I know, um, and then uh, uh, use it as a springboard for your own education purposes. Uh, go and get smart. Um, the more you know, the better off you are. Um, the simplest and the easiest um, kind of guitar bodies out there are what I call planks. Um, they are just pieces of wood, flat pieces of wood. There's no carving to them. Uh, as far as the top of it, it's just flat. Um, it can be uh, just a, a single piece. Um, the first guitar I ever had um, was a single slab guitar. The pickup screwed onto the top of it. Uh, the pick guard um, covered up uh, a couple of very small channels um, where the wiring was run, but other than that, it was just bone flat uh, up on the top. Um, the um, 65 Melody Maker um, is a pretty good example of that. It's really simple. It's just a flat plank piece of wood. The shape is carved out of it. There's no carving on the top. There's very little routing in it, uh, as you can see. Um, very simple. Um, they can be, uh, like I said, a single piece of wood. They can be a couple of pieces of wood glued together. There may be some interesting features on the wood um, that they want to mirror or they want a book match. Um, they'll cut a piece of wood and then they'll lay it like that and then they'll just glue it uh, right up together to get this kind of mirror image of the grain uh, there. If you have a really nice piece of wood, um, they'll do that. Um, on your cheaper guitars, you can have a body. Uh, it can still be a kind of a simple plank body, but it can be made up of two or three or four pieces of wood. Um, that's a way to get a guitar to be made cheaper. Um, you take four pieces of wood, you glue them together, uh, and then you paint a solid color over that. Um, the uh, Area Pro 2 uh, guitar is like that. The PV Patriot guitar was like that. Um, uh, so if you're looking to um, uh, refinish a guitar uh, and kind of explore and learn, beware of that. If you see um, a solid color guitar, um, for a decent price and you think you're going to strip the paint off of it and uh, find just this gorgeous wood underneath, eh, maybe not. There's probably a reason they covered that wood up. Um, they take the nicer pieces of wood and those are the ones that they put the natural finishes on, the sunburst finishes on. Um, and those are the ones that you have to pay a hundred bucks or two hundred bucks extra um, to get. You'll see solid colors for X price and then um, a natural color or you know a cherry sunburst or something on there um, is uh, X plus 50 bucks or X plus 100 bucks because it's a nicer piece of wood it takes more labor as well um, so that's something that you want to look for uh, now let me uh, let's grab a guitar and we'll talk about another type of guitar body that you're gonna see all right um, here's a second style of body that you're going to see. Um, this, is a, this is a Gibson Les Paul. Um, this has a couple of features um, 
uh, that will point out. It has the back part of this body is mahogany. Um, and I'm not going to go into tones of wood, what a type of wood will do um, to your sound, because um, that's just, that's crazy. Um, that could be another two or three different videos. Um, so we're just talking about construction now. Uh, mahogany on the back, and then this has, um, right along here, you might see a light line. That's because the top of this guitar is maple. It has what's called a cap on it. Um, so they have a nice big piece of mahogany on the bottom of it. And then they have a nice piece of maple on the top. And then the maple is carved away. Because if you can see, this guitar starts here. It kind of goes down a little bit. And then it comes up. And then it goes back down. And there's kind of like a little rim on it. That's called a carved top. Um, so this mahogany body with a maple cap, and this is a carved top guitar. Um, interesting enough, um, what I've learned is that uh, Les Paul didn't like this. Les Paul, the inventor of the Les Paul, preferred a slab, just a flat top on his guitar. Um, but when he went to Gibson, Gibson was making carved top guitars, and that was kind of their... Um, that was kind of their deal. They said, well, we like this guitar and we're going to make it, but it's going to be a carved top guitar. And, uh, and Les didn't like that. He preferred the flat top guitars. Um, but this, when you think of a Les Paul, you think of the carved top uh, guitars on them. So again, maple body or uh, mahogany body, maple cap, carved top. Um, so in kind of this style, let me grab something else um, to look at. All right, uh, kind of out of the same stable. Um, this isn't a Gibson. This is an Epiphone, you know, license made. This one's made in China. Um, this is what you'll call a semi-hollow body. Um, you'll notice it has the F-holes here, and I can put my finger in the F-holes. But if you run your finger up underneath there too much further, this is solid. This is a big solid block of wood on the inside. Now it's probably laminate. It's probably multiple pieces of wood glued together. It can be a solid block of wood. And then what they've done is they've put this this kind of a cap, the front and the back on it, um, to make this guitar bigger. Um, so solid here in the middle, because if you versus uh, versus here, um, again the top. This top is curved up. Um, it's got this nice kind of bow on the front as well as on the back. If we turn it over, I don't know if you can tell, this guitar comes up and it's got this nice kind of belly uh, on it. Um, this is not to be confused with like an arch top guitar. It looks very similar. Usually they're thicker. They're an inch or so thicker and they're lighter because it's all hollow on the inside. Um, uh, a lot of your arch top guitars you're going to see with what we call a trapeze tail piece. Big piece of metal comes over here. It's kind of suspended up and you put the strings in here. But this is something that you'll see. This is um, uh, this is Epiphone's uh, 335 um, kind of copy. Uh, this one's got dual humbuckers in it, but that's um, this is the semi-hollow body again because this is just solid. You can put your finger in there and you can feel it solid uh, all on the inside. Really cool sustain to it. Um, uh, yeah, uh, take a look out, uh, especially back in the late 70s, early 80s, if you start looking at your, your, uh, your big hard rock axe, you'll see guitars like this uh, popping up. Uh, now let's look at another uh, type of guitar body. Uh, all right, let's take a look at this. The Thompson <laughs> Splendor Series. Um, what looks to be a really nice chunk of wood, doesn't it? This is a single piece of wood across the top. Um, there is another 
nice single piece of wood, probably, underneath this. Um, take a look at the edge. That's plywood. Um, that's another way to make a, uh, a, cheaper, uh, a cheaper guitar, as you can take a piece of plywood. Um, and, you know, don't get me wrong, plywood's nice, strong type of stuff. Um, I love to build, you know, subfloor out of plywood. Um, and then put a veneer of a nicer wood on the top and the bottom. You can do a burst on it, paint the edges black. Um, make sure you filled your uh, grain appropriately over here, which they haven't done, because you can kind of see. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. You can also see the marks where they took the power sander after it. And they kind of skipped across there. Um, yeah. And, uh, and then make it look like a nice solid piece of wood, but it's definitely not a solid piece of wood, as you can see from the damage. Um, where the whole body is just splitting, literally splitting apart. And I don't know, that almost looks like OSB on the inside, not even really plywood. Um, so that's something to look for. Um, uh, if you see a guitar and uh, you know it's selling retail in the store for 50 or 100 bucks, um, you're probably not getting a solid chunk of maple or mahogany or any other really nice tone wood. And there's a pretty good chance you're going to get um, plywood um, or uh, oh, there's some fancy term that they use instead of saying plywood, uh, multi-veneered or high pressure laminate or something like that. It, it's it's a plywood and then you'll get a, a veneer top on top of it um, so just something to look out for that's um, that's another type of body that you're going to see out there um, so let's take a look at something else all right here we are um, with another type uh, of guitar body that you might see out there this is called a through neck guitar um, why do they call that well because if we turn this over, um, we have multiple pieces of wood that have been glued together, laminated into just this nice, big, long piece of wood that goes from the tip of the headstock all the way to the tailpiece. This is one solid piece of wood, made of multiple pieces of wood. What they've done with the body is they've glued these wings onto it. This is a single piece of wood up here. This is another single piece of wood down here. Theory behind that is all about sustain and tone. Um, take it with, uh, you know, whatever your belief system is. Because uh, there are all kinds of camps on through necks versus set necks versus bolt-on necks. And that's, um, that's just kind of like bacon. Uh, you know, are you a traditional hardwood smoked bacon? Are you an apple wood? Are you a steakhouse? Are you a pepper? You know, who knows? So, yes, I just said guitar bodies are like bacon. Um, you'll find these in... Um, this just happens to be a five-string bass. Uh, this is a PV Cirrus bass. Um, you'll find them in guitars. Um, six string guitars, electric guitars. Um, I'm sure you can make a 12 string if you wanted to. Um, but that's just another one of those theories on how to get sustain, how to, how to shape your tone, uh, how to get the sound out of the guitar um, that you want to get out of the guitar. Um, there are other um, there are other theories behind that. I mean, look at the Steinberger bases. I mean, there basically is very little body um, to that whatsoever. Um, so it's something that you have to you have to consider when you're thinking of refinishing the guitar. If you're doing like me, I didn't know anything about guitars, so I went out and started buying guitars, stripping them down to nothing, and learning about them. And that's one of the things that I learned is that there's all different kind of ways to build a body. 
Um, and they all have their pluses and they all have their minuses and uh, uh, they can all be a gigantic pain in the rump. Um, if you think you're doing something and you're actually dealing with another uh, another beast uh, altogether. So planks, um, single or multiple piece, uh, carved tops, caps, uh, through necks with wings. Um, I'm sure there's other stuff out there. Um, take a look. Next time you go to the music shop, start looking along the stuff that's hanging up on the wall and uh, uh, start looking at not just the guitar as a whole, but just go in and start looking at bodies and start looking for caps, looking for that ridge along the edge of a natural finished uh, kind of a Les Paul. If it's got a binding on it, it's kind of hard to see because the binding covers up the cap. Um, but uh, look for book matched tops. Um, you can have a base wood um, and then you can put a veneer over the top of it, a really fancy, expensive piece of wood. Um, and you can veneer over the top and have a book matched set. You'll see all those tiger striped guitars. A lot of the PRSs are coming out like that. Um, you'll see the flame maple. Um, matched sets, uh, the Les Pauls that are coming out. Um, check out Wormsby Guitars. Um, holy cow, he got some really cool stuff. Uh, some uh, flame book match type of stuff. Really, really neat. Um, so start looking at that and um, enjoy uh, looking at the bodies um, and take that and the knowledge that uh, maybe you've gotten from the necks and uh, you know what, get some books, read. Uh, watch the YouTube's videos. Um, uh, the more you know, the better off you are. So, have a good one.